Here's another example of evaluating a linear transformation on a basis. We have the linear transformation T carrying R3 to R2. T is given by sending the following three vectors to the corresponding two vectors. Our problem, I want to be able to evaluate T on any three vector. Now, our goal here is to be able to evaluate T on the standard basis vectors for R3. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. If we have those values, then we can use linearity to reconstruct all of T. Now, we proceed in steps. First, we recall the associated matrix to a linear transformation going from Rm to some Rn. Now, since we're going from R3 to R2, our linear transformation takes three vectors. We can think of it as a matrix vector product. So here we'll have A times XYZ. Now, to get the dimensions right, A has to be a two by three matrix. So two rows, three columns. Why is that? A is gonna take a three vector. Okay, so that's gonna go on the right. That three vector has to line up with this three. And then what'll come out will be a two vector. So if I think of a three vector, as having dimensions three by one. Then when I put this matrix up against it, the threes are gonna match up. They'll be left with something that has dimensions two by one or a two vector. Now, the recipe for A, we'll apply A to three vectors. So we're gonna need the three standard basis vectors. So I'll apply T to each of those. So the first comp's T of E1, second comp's T of E2, third columns, T of E3. If we could find each of these, we have A, and then we have all of T. Now, to make use of our assumptions, we need the following bit of language about linear combinations. So I'm gonna have W, okay, it's written as a linear combination of two vectors. So AV1 plus BV2 plus CV3. If we have this, I can rewrite W as, okay, we're gonna have the matrix with V1, V2, and V3 as the columns. So that'll be two by three. And then ABC is just gonna be a three vector. So these two items here are just saying the same exact thing. That's what we use to get into the problem. To interpret our assumptions, first we have the T of one, zero, one is equal to one, two. 1, 0, 1, can write as a linear combination of the standard basis vectors as E1 plus E3. Then by linearity, I could pull that apart. So TE1 plus TE3. Now, using this linear combination rule from the previous board, okay, we have a zero in front of TE2. So I'm just taking this matrix here, multiplying by the vector 1, 0, 1, and then out comes 1, 2. Likewise, we go through the other two assumptions. So we have our A matrix times minus one, one, zero equal to zero, one, and our A matrix times one, two, two equal to one minus one. Now, I could take these three equations, put them into a single matrix product equation. So here what I'll have is our A matrix times Okay, I have 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 2. Then we're just going to put the values in the same order. So 1, 2, 0, 1, and 1, minus 1. Now, to solve this, all I need to do is multiply by the inverse of our 3 by 3 matrix on the right. So, to find that, I'll leave that to you. Okay, you have the options either to use the adjugate formula or to row reduce. And when you do that, you'll get the matrix that we have here. So at a minimum, you should at least check that this matrix times this matrix gives us the identity. Multiplying by the inverse, we isolate A to get the following two by three matrix. Now, we'll take this, multiply by the vector x, y, z, so we get our answer. T of x, y, z is equal to minus x minus y plus two z, minus 7x minus 6y plus 9z. Of course, we check our work. 
So we'll take our original vectors, put them into T, verify that our assumptions hold. That gives us the following three equations. So when we do the work, we note the vectors in R2 come out as expected.